Hi, I'm Jenny Ford. Welcome to your strengthening and toning workout. So we're gonna use a few things today. You're gonna want to have a pillow, a mat, and a chair. This first section starts out standing. So first of all, I want you to go ahead and grab your chair. We're gonna do some standing pelvic tilts. So you've got your chair just right here in front of you. Your feet are about shoulder width apart. You're gonna have a slight bend in the knees. You're resting your hands on that chair. You're gonna tilt that pelvis forward, contract the abdominals, and we're gonna hold that pelvic tilt. So go ahead, inhale, exhale, curl that pelvis forward. So you're squeezing, contracting those abdominals. Squeeze and hold, keep it here. Good job. Go ahead and release back to a flat pack position. Okay, get ready, we're gonna go ahead and go again. Inhale, exhale. Tilt that pelvis forward, so you're also pushing those glutes forward. So you're keeping those abdominals super, super tight. Squeeze and hold. Good. Go ahead and release. Nice job. Okay, bend the knees slightly. Get ready. Inhale. Exhale. Press forward. So you're tilting that pelvis forward. You can also do a Kegel here, where you're pulling that pelvic floor up. Good job. Go ahead and release. Good job. Let's go it again. So go ahead, press those, that pelvis forward. Squeeze and hold. Good, keep it here. You're gonna strengthen your back. You're gonna strengthen your abdominals by doing these pelvic tilts. Go ahead and release. Let's go again. Press forward. Good. You're tilting that pelvis forward. Nice job. Hold it here. Ooh. Go ahead and release. Good job, let's do one more. Inhale. Exhale, press forward, hold. Good job. Squeeze and hold. Think about doing a Kegel there too. Lift that pelvic floor and release. Very good, nice work. Okay, now we're gonna do a standing tummy tuck. Feet are hip width apart again. You're gonna bend the knees. Hands are gonna rest on the thighs. You've got a nice flat back. You're gonna go ahead Round the back to the ceiling and pull that tummy in. Let's go. So hold, squeeze. Just hold it here. Go ahead and release back to a flat back. Good, take a little breather. We're gonna go again. Inhale, exhale. Go ahead and lift the back to the ceiling. Good, so you're tucking that tummy in tight, tight, tight. Good job. Hold it here and release. Good, let's try it again. Be good, go ahead, inhale, exhale, pull that back up, tuck that tummy in, good. So you're really, really gonna strengthen the abdominals again here on this move. Go ahead and release, nice job, Let's go again. You ready? Inhale, exhale, lift, hold and squeeze. Think about hugging that baby with those abdominal muscles. Nice job, go ahead and release. I wanna do just two more, okay? Inhale, lift the back, tuck that tummy. Over here. Woo, I'm feeling it. Go ahead and release. Okay, one more. Inhale, exhale, round that back, tuck that tummy. Good job, squeeze and hold. Hold, good. You got it. Go ahead and release. Nice job. Okay, next move is called around the clock. Feet are gonna be a little bit wider than hips. You're gonna squat down almost to a 90 degree angle. Both hands are gonna take out to your sides. You're gonna take your right arm, lift it straight up, palm faces forward. Then you're gonna take it over to the side, bottom forearm rests on the thigh. You're just stretching nice and long. Keep it here. Keep breathing, inhale, exhale. Good, now you're gonna roll forward. Each forearm is gonna rest on each thigh. Let that head hang forward. Look down at the ground. Inhale, exhale. Keep the abdominals tight. Good. Now, you're gonna remove your left arm. Take it, sweep out the opposite way. Good, so you're reaching out to your side once again. Palm faces forward. Hold it here. Nice long stretch. Good job. Come back up, both arms go out to the side. Stand up, good. Now we're gonna go the other direction. 
All right, here we go. Inhale, exhale, squat back down to a 90 degree angle. Left arm just goes straight up, over to the side. Bottom forearm rests on that thigh. Palm faces forward, reach and hold. Good job. Really try to elongate. Now roll forward. Each forearm rests on each thigh. Head goes forward. Looking down at the ground just directly below you. Inhale, exhale. Nice job. Now take your right arm off your thigh. Sweep it around. Hold it. Good. Keep it here. Good. You're doing great. Woo, I feel it right in those thighs. Go ahead and come on up. And stand on up. Great job, great job. Okay, final move. You're gonna want your chair. So I want you to place your chair in front of the television. You'll also want a pillow for this. You're gonna place your pillow at an incline. You're gonna sit on your chair. Your tailbone is gonna be a few inches from the edge of your chair. I want your upper body to be at an incline. You're gonna lift your toes. You're gonna be right on the balls of your feet. We're gonna do a walking in place, starting with the right foot. You're gonna lift it up and bring it back down, switch. Inhale, exhale, up, inhale. Keep those abdominals tight, good. You're gonna really strengthen those abdominals by doing these moves. All of these moves are fantastic. They help to really prepare your body for labor, for delivery, even for pregnancy day in and day out. Good job. Keep it up. We're just walking in place. So lift, exhale, and lower down. Opposite leg. Lift, exhale, lower down. Are you keeping those abdominals tight? Good. Do what's comfortable for you. Lift and lower. Let's stay here, just do a few more, okay? Lift. Good. Now, there's four sections in this workout. This is the beginning part. Good job. Nice work, keep it up. Let's just do a few more and we're done, okay? How about four more each leg? Four. And lower. Good. Three. Nice job. Three more sets. Looking good. You doing okay? Two more sets. Nice job. Last set, second set on this leg. One more set each leg. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Great work. All right, let's keep going. Okay, for this section, you're gonna be on all fours. So I want you to go ahead and sit back on your heels. When you're ready, you're gonna go ahead and walk the hands out. Make sure you engage those abdominals. Don't let your belly sag down. You've got your knees right underneath the hips, wrists right underneath the shoulders. Good. We're gonna start out with drawing a circle with our hips. So the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna sway your hips out towards the television. You're gonna round the back to the ceiling, tilt the pelvis forward, draw a circle. Good, and go back to your start position. Let's try it again. So you're gonna go out, round the back, tilt the pelvis forward, squeeze those abdominals. Good, let's go again, same direction. Out, squeeze, down, and then back to the start. Good, now this time when you go out, round the back, pull up that pelvic floor. Do a Kegel, you got it. Try it again. So out, round the back. So you're just drawing a circle with the hips. Let's go again, keep it up. Now that you've got the motion, you just keep going. So out, tuck that pelvis forward, squeeze the abdominals around the back, all the way around. So we're just gonna do a few more on this side. Good, keep it up. This is gonna strengthen your abdominals, your back, and your pelvic floor. Good, let's just go two more. Up, around, last one. Good. Now come back to cent center. We're gonna do the same exact thing, but the other direction. So hips go the opposite direction. Lift the back, draw in that circle. Back to center, let's go again slowly. Out, lift, back, good. Let's speed it up a little bit. So out, around, out, and around, good. 
out, tuck that pelvis, really squeeze the abdominals in tight, out, We've got just a few more here, hip circles, one more, good, nice job, all right, so same position, you're still right here on all fours, we're going to swivel the hips right to left, just swivel it out and out, we're just really strengthening that trunk, keep the abdominals tight, squeeze them in tight, you're just going side to side, side to side, good, keep those abdominals tight, okay, very good, nice job, now we're going to do one small variation, this time, come back to center, you're going to swing your hips out towards the television, when you're out, you're going to round the back to the ceiling, tuck the pelvis in, freeze and hold, 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 come back neutral spine, come back center, Let's go the other way, swing it out to the side, raise that back to the ceiling, tuck that pelvis forward, hold, 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 bring it back down to a flat back, back to center, let's try that again, swing it out, tuck, good, squeeze and hold, back down flat, center, other way, out, pull it up, good, back down, back to center, let's just do a few more, swing it out, really raise the back to the ceiling, curl that pelvis forward, squeeze and hold, back down, flat back, back center, last one, squeeze out, roll up, flat back, back to center, great job, sit back on your heels, now, you're going to grab your pillow. We're going to do a pillow squeeze. So you're going to put your pillow right between your thighs. You're still going to be on all fours. But you're going to squeeze that pillow with those inner thighs. Really work the inner thighs. Still in all fours. So you're going to hold right here, wrist stacked under the shoulders. You're going to round the back to the ceiling. And as you do, you're going to pull that pelvis forward and squeeze the pillow. So we're going to round up, squeeze that pillow in, go back to a flat back position. Abdominals are tight. So round, squeeze that pillow, hold, hold it here, back to flat back. Now this time, round up, squeeze and hold that pillow, pull that pelvic floor up and release. Good, try again. Round that back to the ceiling, squeezing that pillow between the legs, pull the pelvic floor up, and release. Good, inhale, exhale, round it up. Squeezing that pillow, working those inner thighs, pulling that pelvic floor up, back to a flat back. Good, again, round it up, squeeze and hold. Back to a flat back, nice work. Again, squeeze and hold, round that back to the ceiling, pull that pelvic floor up. Let's just do a few more. Okay, round that back up, squeeze that pillow right between those thighs. Back down, how about one more? Round the back, squeeze and hold. And release, good. Go ahead and remove your pillow. One last exercise. You're on all fours. Again, you're going to extend the right leg right about hip height. You're going to draw that leg into your chest and round the back to the ceiling. Go ahead and hug that baby with your muscles. Here we go. So you're going to pull the knee in, round the back, hold it, hold it, and extend back out. Let's try again. So bring the knee in. Tilt that pelvis forward, round the back, hold, hold, hold. Go ahead and extend. Good, just a few more. Bring that knee in, round the back, and extend. How about one more? Bring that knee in, round the back. Go ahead and extend. Knee comes down, good. Let's go ahead and switch. Go ahead and raise that left leg. Inhale, exhale, pull the knee in. Round the back to the ceiling, squeeze and hold. Go ahead and extend that leg back out. Don't let the abdominal sag, pull in the knee. Round the back, 
Then go ahead and extend. Two more sets, you got this. Bring the knee in, round and hold, and release. One more, here we go. Bend the knee in, round and hold. Back out, back down. Great job, separate the knees. Sit back on your heels, child's pose. You're gonna walk the hands forward. Good. Try to really stretch those fingertips forward. Stretch out through the back, through the shoulders. Hold it here. Inhale, exhale. Walk the hands in. Great job. That finishes our section on all fours. Let's go ahead and move to the, the next section. This section is gonna all be done on your side. So I want you to go ahead and sit on your heels. You're facing me. You're gonna take your right hand out to the side. I want you to stack your shoulder right over your wrist. You're gonna extend that top leg. We're gonna go into a T stamp. And I want you to make sure that your spine is neutral. You're gonna reach that arm up nice and tall. Inhale, exhale. Hold it here. Just hold it here. Now really, I want you to try to extend up through the fingertips. Really reach up towards the ceiling. Good. Now inhale, exhale, draw the arm over the head and reach. Palm faces the television. Just reach and extend and hold nice and long. Good. Keep the abdominals tucked in tight. Good job. Nice neutral spine. You're just gonna hold there. This is an all over body toning move. Inhale, exhale. Good job, stay here. Keep breathing, inhale, exhale. Nice job. Bring the arm back straight up. Good, go ahead, draw that leg in. Sit back down on your heels. We're gonna go the opposite direction. So you're gonna place your left hand to your side. Make sure that your wrist is lined up with the shoulder, top leg is extended. You've got your abdominals tight, spine is neutral. You're gonna reach up right to the ceiling, palm faces the television. Keep the abdominals in super, super tight. See if you can inhale, exhale, reach a little higher. Hold it here. Good job, feels good. Inhale, exhale, see if you can reach a little higher. Now, you're gonna reach that arm back over the head. Still keep the palm facing forward, but really try to extend those fingertips. Nice and long. Good job. Spine is neutral. Don't round or arch the back. Keep breathing, inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good job. All right. Go ahead and bring the arm back up. Sit back on your heels. Very nice. Let's start back down to the same side. Now, if you're belly, if you're in your third trimester like me, <laughs> you probably want a pillow for this part. I'm gonna put this pillow right underneath my belly to help support. I'm gonna lay down, extend that arm. You're gonna lay your head right on that arm. Okay, good. You've got your pillow there. Make sure you're comfortable. For this section, your feet are bent. Soles of your feet are together. Top hand comes forward to help you balance. We're gonna do a set of clams. So you're gonna open the legs and then go ahead and close. Now, back up. Good, keep the abdominals tight. Keep it up. Make sure those hips stay stacked. Don't roll forward, don't roll back. And down. So we're working those inner thighs and down, keep it up. We're gonna stay on this side for all of these exercises. Up and down, good job. Up and down, you got this. I'm feeling it. Nice job, let's just do a few more. Make sure we got it. How about four more, okay? Four, breathe it out. Three, nice job, two more. Two, last one. Now for this second exercise, you're gonna go ahead and extend that top leg straight, flex the foot. We're gonna do side lift raises. Go ahead. So up and down. Make sure 
is you keep that knee facing forward. Let's go, keep it up. Up and down. Nice job. Up, <laughs> looks good. Up, keep those hips squared. Don't let them roll forward or back. Up, let's do pointed toe, keep it up. Up and back, good. How's it going, you doing okay? You're doing great. Up. How about one more, okay? Now, we're gonna do crunches for the side. You're gonna put the top arm right behind the head. You're gonna lift up and down. So you're squeezing at the top. You're bringing that opposite shoulder blade off the floor. These are crunches for the side. You got this. Nice job. Hold at the top and down. So you're toning that side and down. Keep it up. Up and down. Good job. Up. Woo. Four more, okay? Four. Nice job. Three more. Three. Very good. Two more. Last one. Squeeze and hold. And down. Go ahead. Press yourself up. We got to switch sides. So go ahead and swing those legs around. All right. Get set up. Again, if you need your pillow to support your baby, use it. You're gonna lay down again, right on that arm. Feet are together, knees are bent. Top arm is forward to help support you. We're going to do our clams. So open and close. Make sure your hips are stacked. Good, keep it up. Open and close. Work in those inner thighs, outer thighs as well, outer hip. Open and close. We've got a few more of these. So stay here, please. You gotta be even on both sides. And close. Open and close. Good job. Open. Good. Now I'm pretty sure we have four more. Okay, keep it up. Open and close. You can still keep those abdominals engaged. It's important. Open and close. Nice job, last one. Now, if you remember the second set, straight leg, foot is flexed, bottom knee is bent, knee faces forward, let's lift and lower. Up and down, good. Up, you're flexing that foot for this one. Up and down, good job. Breathe, good, here we go. Two more with a flex foot. Last one. Now point that toe for four. Give me four more. Four. Good job. Almost there. Three. Nice work. Two more. Two. Last one. Very good. Go ahead and bend the knees again. You're gonna bring that hand right behind the head. We're getting ready for side crunches. Up and hold and down. So you're bringing that opposite shoulder blade right off the floor. Squeeze at the top. Work in the side. Keep it up. Squeeze and hold. Ooh, I feel it. It's a good one. You're gonna tone up that waistline, right? Keep you nice and strong. Getting you ready for labor and delivery. And of course for recovery. Let's do a few more here. Up and down. Good job. Up and down, you're doing great. Ooh, feels good. I can certainly feel it. Pretty sure you have four more, okay? Keep it up. Four. And down. Three more. Three. We're almost there. Two more. Nice job. Last one. Ooh. Very good. Go ahead and help yourself up. Great job. You've completed the side position. Let's finish off with our seated position. All right, so this whole section is gonna be done seated right here on the mat. So I want you to go ahead and sit down, extend the legs. Your legs are gonna be a little bit wider than your hips. You're gonna flex those feet. You're gonna sit up nice and tall. I want you to extend those arms forward. You're reaching nice and long. Now I want you to imagine that you're having to go up and over a big beach ball right here between your legs. So you're gonna go up and over and lean forward. Really stretch and reach. You're gonna stretch, you can feel it right into the back of the legs, the hands as well as into the back. Now, you're gonna take your arms, bring them up by your ears. Good. 
still extend those fingertips as long as you can. Really reach and hold, breathe it out. Good, arms come back to shoulder length, shoulder height, roll it in. Good, let's go ahead and try this one again. So imagine that beach ball again. Inhale, exhale. Go ahead and lean forward, up over the beach ball. You're reaching nice and long. Good. Hold it here. All right. Inhale, exhale, bringing that arms right up by the ears. Again, reach the fingertips as high as you can up towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, see if you can reach a little further. Arms come back to shoulder height. Come back up. Good job. Let's do one more set. So inhale, exhale. You're up over that beach ball. Reach forward. Try to really extend the arms nice and long. Inhale. Raise the arms up by the ears. Again, reach up, 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 up. Good. Arms come back down. Shoulder height. And come back in. Good. Now go ahead and turn front. You're going to sit with your legs crossed. We're going to go into a set of tummy tucks. You've got your hands right here on your knees. You're going to go ahead and suck those abdominals in as you round the back and roll, pull back. Here we go. So you're pulling back, squeezing those abdominals in tight, tucking those tummy, tuck that tummy up. You're pulling that pelvis up as well. Hold, hold, hold. Go ahead and sit up. Good, let's try it again. So roll back, tuck that tummy, pull that pelvis up. Good. And release. So you're working the abdominals here, right? Round the back, roll it back. Inhale, exhale, squeeze and hold. Hugging that baby with those abdominals. Come back up. Good, one more set. Inhale, exhale, roll back. Squeeze and hold. And come back up. Let's go into a butterfly stretch. You're gonna place the feet, soles of the feet together. You've got your hands resting right here on the thighs. Your knees are about six inches off the floor. You're gonna inhale, exhale, press down gently. You should feel just a nice gentle tension on the groin and the inner thigh muscles. Hold it here. This one feels so good. Hold it here. Ah, and go ahead and release. Bring the knees back up slightly. Let's go ahead. Inhale. Press the knees down. Good job. Butterfly stretch. It's a great one. It feels so good. Keep it here. Good. Bring the legs back up. Good. Let's go ahead. Press those knees down. One more time, just a nice gentle stretch. Don't go too deep. Just so you can feel a nice gentle tension there. Good job. And release. How about one more? Inhale, exhale, press. Hold it here. And release. Now go ahead and cross the legs. We're gonna do a move that's great for the posture. It's gonna help you improve your posture. You're gonna place the hands right here behind the head. I want you to inhale, exhale, and open out the chest. Hold it here. Good. Inhale, exhale. So you're really opening out that chest. Go ahead and release. Whew. Go ahead, open up. Nice job. You're carrying a lot of weight in the front now with that baby. So this is a great move to help pull the shoulders back. Help your mind about good posture. Inhale, release. Two more times. Okay, go ahead, open the elbows. Nice posture. Let that chest open out. Feels good. And release. Okay, one more. Inhale. Exhale, open out. Hold it here, please. Feels good. And release. Okay, chest stretch. You're gonna go ahead and clasp those hands right behind. Straighten out the arms and lift. Lift and hold. Nice job. Hold it here. Chest stretch. Lower the arms. Good. Let's do one more chest stretch. Go ahead and lift. 
Lift and hold, chest stretch. Feels good. And release. Final stretch for the neck. You're gonna go ahead and place your hands on your thighs. Let's go ahead and take your right hand up. Gently pull the head to the side. Good. Now, if you like, you can drop that opposite arm down to the mat. Uh, just let the neck stretch out. Come back center, switch hands. Gently pull your head to the side. Arm comes down to the side. Inhale, exhale. Feels good. Come back center. Great job. You've completed the toning section on the floor. Do this about every day or every other day. It will greatly help to improve you and get you ready for labor and delivery. Thanks for joining me.